right, so on to problem number two from this year's 2023 Amy 1. Positive real numbers, b not equal to 1 and n, satisfy the equation square root of log base b of n equals log base b of radical n and b times log base b of n equals this, right? Whatever, kind of just noise. Just ignore it for a second. The value of n is, and then it's got standard finish to the problem. Uh, it's, a, it's a ratio of the values of j and k, where j and k are relatively prime, find their sum, right? Many Amy questions end with that kind of wording. So now we're just gonna go back, and, and this is actually pretty standard log material. It's, if you, it's basically a question, do you know the log rules? I mean, that's really what it's asking. Um, and maybe a few mechanical operations. We've seen something like this before. I actually was trying to find an AMC 12 question where I could have sworn we had a square root of log base B of N because the tactic that I used just, you know, it came right out, it was pretty easy to do. And I wanted to find it to share that problem with you. I went through all the years from 2000 to present, I could not find it. I looked through the Amy from a few years ago, didn't see it there either. I don't know. I don't know where I've seen it, but I've seen this basically in here before. And the idea is, first off, I would start with this square root. Square root is half power. Half power comes in front. Once you see that this half power is going to come in front, right, you're going to have one half, and what's it going to say? Log base b of n. Well, right away, this and this are the same. Do we want to write all of that? Use a placeholder. What's the standard placeholder? X. So you're gonna have square root of x, which is what this is, x equaling log base b of n, and you're gonna have square root of x equals uh, one half x. Now, at this point, you have a few options about what you could do. Uh, you could square both sides. So you would get x equals one fourth x squared. You could multiply by four, 4x would equal x squared. I mean, at this point, uh, I would just divide by x. Can x be zero? Technically, yes, it could. My guess, I mean, just note, I guess, it's possible. I, I don't know, x could be zero. If, you're, if you don't know why, x is like the y value in a standard log graph. And y would be zero right there when you're basically the input value n is zero for any base. Okay, you should know the kind of the rough log graph. So could n be one? It doesn't say that n can't be. So technically you could get x is zero or four. Most likely it's gonna be this four though, right? So let's go ahead and keep going. Now we have, um, yeah, first off, well, hold on, we'll just keep going, I guess. B times, you got x, if I use the x is four, what if it was zero? Let's just look at the zero real quick. You would get zero equals, and you should know to expand this, right? You would get log base b of b plus log base b of n. So log base b of b is one, so zero would equal one plus. This would have to equal negative one. And the only way it could equal negative one is if n was equal to one over b, right? Because it, basically the log of b to the n is asking you a question. It's saying that b to some power is equal to that value. And I need that some power to be negative one in order for it to equal zero. So b to the negative one is one over b and that's gotta be n. So that would mean we have problems, right? Um, because b is zero, don't forget. So n would have to equal one over zero, it's not gonna work out. So what we'll do instead is we'll just take it to be four. Not so bad. So then we're gonna go back over here again. And um, if you don't know what this is, I, I call it smiley frog face. It's my version of converting logs to exponential. I like visual representations of things. So if I put an X here, uh, smiley frog face is essentially, you go to like this and as you're writing that, you're gonna have B to the X. Okay, that's the smile and the smiley frog face. As you touch each thing, you write it down. So you'll go, equals n 
and that's what it looks like. And it looks to me like a Spalian frog stuffed animal I had as a kid. So that's why I call it that. It's just a conversion method. It's just a visual representation. You don't have to use that to convert. Many people don't. I'm probably the only weird one who does stuff like that. So um, let's keep going though on this. Now that we know that log base B of N, which again is X, we know that it's four. So that would mean that this is now four and you would have 4b equals, this is still 1, okay, uh, plus, again, that's going to be 4. So 1 plus 4 is 5, divide by 4 to get b equals 5 over 4. But we're not looking for b, we're looking for n. So we're going to have to go back and figure out how we're going to do this. Probably, oh, well, b is 5 over 4. We know what log base b of n is, though. We know log base b of n is 4, right? So we could just use that one or this one either way, and it would now be log base 5 over 4 of n needs to equal 4. Again, smelly frog face says it's this to that power. So you're going to have 5 over 4 to the fourth power is going to equal n. So 5 to the fourth, 625. I can draw a five from the side, which I apparently can't. 625, uh, four to the fourth is two to the eighth, which is 256. Or you could say it's 16 squared, whatever, whatever. It's all the same, right? So 870 and 11 more is 881. It wanted us to sum the numerator and denominator. How do we know it doesn't simplify? If it did, it would have simplified here, right? So when you get to big numbers, that's why you like to have them in their prime form first. You don't have to think about if it simplifies. Of course it doesn't. This is all powers of fives and all powers of two. So they're not gonna cancel. 881 will be your answer. Let's go on to problem three.